This is a Cyrus Ranger, and this thing is a beast. Now we've tested multiple e-bikes, but nothing like this one. Now there are many things that set the Ranger apart. The first one is the full suspension. We have the suspension here on the front, but what a lot of e-bikes don't have is rear suspension. And this is a multi-link air suspension that has a lot of adjustability and it does a killer job when you're mountain biking or going over rougher terrain. Now with that, it has a 750 watt hub motor that goes up to 1200 peak wattage. So you have a lot of power and this thing can hit 20 miles per hour using the throttle alone. But if you're pedaling with it, I've hit 30 and I could go even faster, not that you need to. Now, what is really special is that unlike most e-bikes, this thing has a torque sensor, which means that it doesn't just go faster the faster you pedal, but if you pedal harder, it senses that torque and it'll actually speed you up, which is really, really nice. Now, what powers the motor is a 20 amp hour, 52 volt battery that is stored inside the frame right here. You have a key to lock it and unlock it so you can remove it to charge. And it's interesting that's a 52 volt system. It has better quality batteries than a lot of other e-bikes. Then you can actually get 56 miles of range when you're pedaling in a lower assistant mode. But even if you're cranking it going fast, you still have great range. Now on the front here, another thing that stands out is that it has hydraulic brakes. Instead of regular cable, it has um, hydraulics that go through. That makes it a lot better. And on the front, we have a large disc brake and the same thing on the back. So it's way more reliable than other less expensive systems. Now the tires are four inch fat tires. They're large. They have a ton of grip, which is great for trail riding like we are doing today. So you have a ton of stability. You don't have to worry about uh, losing traction. It works out really nice. And because you have the electric assist, it's not hard to ride with those large tires. Now it has a Shimano nine gear system right here so you can change your gears. The levers are set up very conveniently as well where you have a back lever to switch that also makes it easier. And with that, some of the accessories are really nice. We have the headlamp in the front, 250 lumens, nice and bright to make sure that you're seen. On the back here, the seat is super comfortable, way better than a nice brand non-e-bike for a mountain bike that I have. So this is nice, a lot of adjustability. And then on the back, the kickstand is also super durable, unlike some other e-bikes that we have tested. To be honest, I was really surprised by how high quality all of the accessories are. Not just the seat and the kickstand, the grips, the controls, everything is really, really nice, including this large display where most e-bikes have small vertical displays. This gives you a lot of information so you can see exactly what is going on. And overall, the bike is impressively high quality. Of course, you have your mounts right here if you wanna put a water bottle holder on there. And if you look at the reviews, both on Amazon on their website, on other websites. Their views are really, really good. People are loving these things, loving the quality, the durability. It just does a great job. So you guys can find a link in the description, but enough talking, let's go ahead and do some riding. Now I really enjoy mountain biking, but it's always been a pain because you spend most of your time trying to get up the hill first. For example, I went with my son, it took us a half hour to get up the hill and then five minutes getting down you're extremely me tired, you're hot, you're sweaty, and even though it's enjoyable, it's a good exercise, you don't really wanna go out as often as you should because of that, at least for me. So having an e-bike that can also handle mountain biking is awesome because I'm going out in nature way more often. Now, I really like the gear system because right now I am using pedaling and not the throttle. We're going up this pretty steep hill, I don't know if you guys could tell, and just dropping it down a couple gears definitely makes it easier. Now the terrain here has rocks, some gravel, some spots where water went down, and the tires are having no issues handling all of this. Oh, that's so much better <laughs> with the electric assist. We have all these rocks, not a problem with that suspension, nice and smooth. As you guys can hear, I'm still getting some good exercise. I still feel it in my legs. I'm not just being lazy and just using the 
electric, but I also don't have to stop five, six times going up a big hill to get rest like I did a couple weeks ago when I went out with my son. Oh, the scenery is beautiful out there. You guys see Vadim. He has a white version. Here we're testing out the brakes. Really good control. I don't have to press very hard to get enough braking power. Oh, this is so awesome. The grip is nice. I can actually brake pretty hard without losing traction because of those fat tires. Woo! Yeah, oh, this is what makes him mountain biking so fun. Can't believe we made it up here so quickly without getting tired. And right now we're hauling 25 miles an hour, <laughs> but it's very stable. Oh yeah, you guys see Vadim's air suspension working really well. Woo Whoa, bridge. It's crazy how much the throttle could just do by itself. I also really like that if I'm using the throttle, it doesn't just kick in a ton of power right away. It has an algorithm where it smooths in the power. <laughs> How's that? Dang, fun. All right, Vadim, let's keep going and let's we'll see what it. you think about it. So I've been riding this thing for about over a week and we're mountain biking up here now, which is absolute blast. I, like, I can't believe the suspension's working so well, the air suspension in the back. Like I'm shocked that I didn't fall. It's just amazing. But I've been riding a little bit with my wife, my kids on Centennial Trail here in Spokane on the uh, asphalt, super smooth, super fast. Her e-bike only goes up to 20, so it's nice. This one, you could go up to 28. And if you pedal harder, you could go even faster, but that's already crazy fast. So I also went with my family on a nice little bike ride. It was about 22 miles in total. This thing was amazing. The comfort, the seat, I really like the seat. There's lots of bikes that have these heavy seats and they just suck. This is super comfy. Like, look at this. Like, this thing's handling with ease while I'm talking. I could just go down here. This thing is amazing. All right, back to Max here. I actually ended up switching it to the pass number three. There's five different controls for the pedal assist and the five had so much power that I didn't even need it. Um, so going to three is excellent. And so I'm getting a good amount of exercise on my Apple Watch. And so this is fun, <laughs> fast, and still good for you. All right, here I can get some more speed. Let's get cranking. Let me kick it up to five. Woo! Okay, that torque sensor kicking up. Oh my goodness, I'm hauling it. I would never be able to do something like this on my regular mountain bike cruising 22 right now 24 25 yeah let's slow down a little bit Ooh. oh my goodness ah. okay this is a sweet trail let's kick back pedal a little bit more oh man i don't know if you guys could tell the speed here cruising 23 miles an hour down this trail I'm confident because the tires are so grippy. Whoa. Oh, hitting those rocks there. Okay, slow down. Oh, that was awesome. You got to get outside and do some fun stuff. Not just be inside playing with tech all day, every day. Oh, <laughs> I hope the camera's okay. So we did have a casualty. <laughs> My Insta360 stick snapped in half hitting that tree. We still got the footage. So I'll just be careful here. Turn down the power a bit. We'll head back to the truck. That was awesome. So that was a ton of fun. What do you Blast. What's amazing. your battery life at? 71%. Pretty good. I was doing a lot of throttle only, like over here, up there. Yeah, you went far yeah. over here oh, on the I trails when you got way. those drone shots. It's pretty impressive. And you, you said... Um, that was you a did... good ride. 71%. And you closed out your activity ring. I did. So <laughs> we still got a good workout. Forever. Mine has a ton of battery, but yeah. I rode less. I was using less throttle, a lot more pedaling. Yeah. And I actually used a lot of level 3 and level 2 oh, nice. assist instead of keeping level 5. Because it has so much power in it. Yeah. 
has a ton of power. Nice well, there you guys go. You guys can go check out their website. We have the link down in the yep. description. This thing is higher end. It's not anywhere it's near as expensive as some of the other um, e-bikes that are set up for mountain. Mm -hmm. So when you factor in all of the features, the torque sensor, full suspension, um, and then the hydraulic brakes, the price tag is a really good deal for what you get. So if you're interested, go check it out. Click that circle above to subscribe. Check out one of those other videos right over there. This has been Max and, and, Vadim. and Vadim, and we'll see you in the next one.